Well, ready or not, it's about time for peanut growers to fire up the tractors and start digging up their fields. But what is the right time where quality and yield are at their highest? Damon Jones tells you about one such test that is invaluable to the farmer. With Georgia being responsible for nearly half of the peanut production in the entire United States, striking a balance between the best quality and the best yield when harvesting is important to the entire agricultural industry. That's why things like this peanut maturity test is so valuable. The peanut crop itself is an indeterminate crop, so it's, it's always putting on, on peanuts. And so there's going to be a point where uh, the vast majority of these peanuts are, are going to be mature, and the peanut farmer needs to know when would be the best time to harvest. As for the best time to get the crop tested, it's important for the farmers to start planning well before they intend to start their harvest. I like to start somewhere around the ones we brought in today, they were 111 days old. And, and they, we knew that they shouldn't be ready, and uh, we put them on the board a while ago, and you got some shots of it. And they look like it's going to be at least uh, 21, 24 days. Uh, and we'll see the uh, more immature ones move over into a sound mature kernel and hopefully not get in a position where we've lost uh, some of the other. But it's a good thing to get a start two to three weeks before you anticipate they should be done, based off just the date. And to get the most accurate results, farmers first had to put in the groundwork, gathering plenty of samples from each sector of their field. There's an old saying about the best thing you can put in your field, foot tracks. Uh, and you need to get out and you need to get a representative sample of the field. You know, if you have to even just drive through the peanut rows so that you can get all the way to the other end of a field or other end of a pivot, it, it's, it's going to help you in getting a good sample so you're representative of what's out there in the field. As for the test itself, the vines are first checked for diseases like white mold and leaf spot, and then around 200 peanuts are chosen and picked from each spot in the field. From there, the tester will be looking at the color. Before we, we blast the peanuts, they all have a white tannish color to them, so we take the pressure washer and we, we blast them. And if you were to take a peanut yourself and scratch it off, you'd see that it has like a darkish, blackish, brownish color to it. And that's what we're looking at. So. The more mature a peanut gets, the darker the color is going to be. And this is how the peanuts should look on the board, as this slope shows the crop is maturing at the proper rate. Because they're an indeterminate crop, they're, they're going to make um, a bell curve type shape to them. And so what we're trying to do is we're, we're trying to get the vast majority of those peanuts within, within that bell curve to the darkest color, which is, which is black. And once the majority of the peanuts reach that color, it's time for the farmers to begin their harvest, as improper timing can prove to be very costly. If you uh, miscalculate it and you dig them a little too early, it could cost you $40, $50, $60 a ton. So we want to try to identify you know, the exact and best time, and then you've got to take the weather into consideration and a lot of other things. Uh, how many you've got to pick, you know, how fast you can pick it up, what's the conditions of the vines and all. Uh, but this gives us a baseline to start with. Reporting from Camilla, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.